Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over some technical analysis on MicroCloud Hologram, ticker symbol H-O-L-O. -O. We're going to look at the newly drawn Fibonacci retracement levels, talk about some support and resistance, and I'll give you my thoughts on this particular stock, whether I feel like it is a potential buy at the current moment, if I am buying, what my plans are with the stock. A lot of people have been commenting on my last video from Holo Stock, kind of giving me a hard time about you need to get in, you need to get in. Uh, so I'm really just interested to see why, like what, I'm not opposed to it. I know the short interest is extremely high, but what are the other factors that can drive this stock higher? So I'm really unfamiliar with this stock. I haven't done as much research on it as a lot of the other ones. I'll have to start doing that and covering it more, uh, obviously, because this is a potential, very popular stock in the stock market, but we want to look at some technicals and I'll go over what my plans are as far as today june 1st 2024 so let's take a look guys at micro cloud hologram so the newly high new high for the 180 day four hour time frame which is going to be around for quite some time unless we bust through every single resistance level and get past that is 98.40 okay so that's going to be the overall tip top currently uh, we did break below the other fib level that we had of i think it was 140 um, 145 might have been uh, the the low last time we made a video. Currently now 131 is your low on this Fibonacci retracement level. So we've been kind of getting some small spikes up in price and then falling down, spikes up in price, falling. Down. A couple things to take a look at here, or our Golden Cross breakout lines here is uh, we are still currently basically in more of an overall bearish pattern until that blue line crosses over that pink and we get a signal saying that we have potential for a breakout. We're probably gonna to continue to do the same thing and just pop up, fall down, pop up, fall down. And one of two things will happen is that we'll just continue to consolidate and build for another big move, or we'll break below that 131 and go lower. Based on the technicals, I can see coming in the next week, we can spike up in price just because we were undervalued uh, on the RSI. We've been selling off for quite some time since that last little spike up in price. Uh, we got all the way to 436 and fell down people started taking profits and we just kind of started coming down coming down coming down and so i kind of think that as long as the market's healthy next week or a couple of days where we get some green in the market i can see this one spiking up and kind of getting a little bit of movement so it makes interesting observations for a potential swing play in my opinion we'll have to kind of wait it out and see from there so your important resistance levels to see from 131 2236 which is really really some massive gains at this point which would be really exciting to see from a dollar 31 all the way to 2236 they get past that if we're talking potential like legit huge short squeeze and you bust through 2236 your next level is 38 88 50 48 6209 76 45 and then of course all the way to 98 40 would be your overall tip top I do want to look at the overall daily chart from the last couple of years to take a look at what that looks like as well all right so this is dating back to January 1st 2022 all the way until yesterday uh, May 31st 2024 and as you see the 350 is going to go away kind of soon so I didn't even put that on the retracement level because this is going to be your new all-time high which is at about roughly 182 and some change Okay, so overall, the longer term time frame is your first level of uh, resistance would be 4013. So if this hits, this starts going parabolic, like people are kind of insinuating it might, then it can get, go even higher than, you know, 20, whatever the first one was, 28, 22, whatever the first level I showed you a couple minutes ago. So just kind of keep that in mind. If it busts through that first support level, on the 180 day four hour time frame and then it gets into like the 30s you know low 30s mid 30s high 30s then you might consider taking some profits there for sure because 40 13 would be your first real major level of resistance and that would be i mean you're talking like a 40x gain from um from where you're sitting at now so that's a massive gain and if it happens quickly, you're going to look at something basically like this. And you see what happens every time it does that. So as you see, you know, it goes straight up and then it just falls even harder. Goes straight up, falls even harder. Goes straight up, falls even harder. 
that's what I'm saying. I think we could see some type of spike in price. Maybe not all the way to $100, but maybe to $20-something, dollars, maybe $30, and then it just falls back down. So it's something to maybe keep an eye on. As for me, I don't own any of this stock. I did swing it on the, like after the initial, that spiked up all the way to $4. I watched it kind of fall down, got in, and then it didn't really do much. And then so I ended up bouncing out of it, and I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it at this point. I'm not putting, I really don't have any plans to put any money in it at the moment, unless the technicals tell me otherwise and we do get like really undervalued and some type of news comes out but i really need to do more research on the stock so that's kind of where you guys can come in if you can leave in the comments some articles uh some things that you know about the stock that would potentially uh, inform me of where they're going you know for the long term that may make me a little bit more inclined to look at them but I, overall regardless if i own it or not i will continue to cover this stock i will continue to do the technicals if i see any articles come out i'll start covering those as well so please, if you're following for this particular stock, if you own it, like the video, subscribe, and make sure that you can keep up, and I'll give you as much information as possible on this particular stock. So other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next one.